everybody, I'm Fen. I'm Laura. And this is Recipe Roulette, a cooking show where we... Well, we're supposed to be a cooking show that chooses a cookbook, opens to a page at random, and we make whatever it says. And honey, why aren't we doing that tonight? Because I installed a flux capacitor in the microwave and been using it for time travel episodes for production value equipment. And we totally got mixed up in filming all the different segments that we forgot to film the intro for this week's episode. And because I'm like, hey, we don't need this recipe anymore. The entire thing's filmed. I threw the recipe away because we got it like archived in the... Yeah, I completely messed this one up. But the great thing is, <clears throat> we got all the filming of how to make the how to make the episode all done. We just needed to go back and do this one. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. So, ingredients. Yeah, but we didn't tell them we're making pumpkin yogurt dip. Hey, honey. Yeah. What's up? Swiss. Something. Yeah, we just got some random cheese. Yeah, get your favorite cheese. You know, apples and cheese, it's all good. And this is a vital wheat, vital wheat gluten, gluten sausage, sausage roll. It's basically like a veg, homemade veggie sausage roll. It's actually quite similar to the uh, spice seitan that I made. I just ended up putting uh, for the seasonings was garlic, sage, and um, fennel? Yes, and fennel. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll put the link to the seitan down below. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna put this dip together and I'm gonna pop the, the veggies sausage into the oven just on a low heat because it's been cooked already and we just wanna warm it up a little bit. All right. My blender, yogurt in. Grab a spoon to get all my yogurt in. Cat's 
Peter's yogurt and he's like yogurt for Catsby. He's so excited by yogurt. It's right by my foot right now. Just hoping he gets some. Okay, so I get that in. Adding my pumpkin. My maple. Yeah, you can hear him, right? My cinnamon. A little more than a dash, but I really like cinnamon, so each to their own with like spices and flavoring a little bit. Allspice. And nutmeg. I found out yesterday like it's ground up with a certain type of nut, which is where it gets its name from. So if you're allergic to nuts, you should not avoid nutmeg. The trivia for today. Dash of salt. Okay, so I'm turning on my blender now. I'm gonna pause video because you know you guys don't want to listen to that. It's like noisy and stuff. I'll be back in a bit. So that my dip all mixed up. Um, I did add about a third more cup of yogurt because it was really thin. It was more like a dressing. And yeah, I just wanted a little bit thicker. So, yeah, take that into consideration. So, I get that. Get to my apples here. I'm going to put out my board into view so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Ram crackers. So random tip, if you get a, a can of pumpkin puree, you use a third of it, you're gonna use, have still a lot left in the can. So we froze it because I don't think we're gonna be using it in the next few days, especially if we're going camping. So will be there for us when we get back and want to do something pumpkin-y, maybe some pumpkin muffins in the future, or pumpkin pie, or pumpkin sauce is really yummy. You can pumpkin bread all these fall things. This is really a fall dish, it's funny. But it's also a dish that doesn't heat up the house. This is true, which is good for summer. So. Yeah, I got a line of Graham crackers now. Tip for the apples. Uh, squeezed lemon juice over this. Keep them fresh. Add my cheeses. Like I said, you can really use whatever cheese um, is your favorite for such a board. And if you don't have like a official like charcuterie board, a, a wooden cutting board works great or you know even a plate. Of course if it, you want to do something like you're entertaining or for like a nice dinner you want to dress it up a little bit. That's always fun but otherwise you know be very casual also. Okay.
So we got our sausage, our veggie sausage. Almost forgot about that. Had to make room for that. Okay, and yeah, there we go. We'll see you for the first bite. All right, let's uh, let's grab ourselves an apple. Graham cracker, a little bit of cheese. Apple. Just a little sauce. have been sitting out for like close to a half hour not right nice so just uh yeah just basically add a juice of a lemon over your apples to keep them from going funky yeah it's awesome that did taste like eggnog Okay, not getting eggnog, but it is really yummy. Okay. <clears throat> it is yummy, and the bran cracker with it is just... Yeah, and this is really like a dessert charcuterie board. It is. All right. Yeah, definitely recommend. <clears throat> Okay. You got next week's cookbook? Next week, crazy about cookies, because who isn't crazy about cookies? Well, he had this, cookies are a sometimes food now, He's now a veggie monster. But he used to be crazy about cookies. This is true. Okay, tell me Stop. about this one. Mm, okay, those are Christmas cookies. Yeah, those are Christmas cookies. Okay, left or right? Pass the dochi to the left. Chocolate dip metal lines. Ooh. It's like we're going to Victorian France. Ooh. Next week on Recipe Roulette. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those things that let YouTube know we're doing a good job. And if you are subscribed, hit the notification bell so you'll see when this episode with the cookies go live. And I think that's it for this week's episode. That's it. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next week. Peace.